Hi, this is Alan Bresnik, cable video practice leader at Light Reading. I'm here at the Cable Show in LA with Roger Gregory, Vice President of Marketing for Entropic. Roger, what is Entropic's current focus within the RDK ecosystem? Entropic's focus on the RDK ecosystem is actually quite simple. We're just trying to make it work. If you think about what the RDK is, it's a collection of these software components, and we're trying to bring that together to allow our OEMs and their MSOs to deliver great innovative products. Can you describe to us what Entropic's RDK strategy is? Yeah, the strategy um, is really predicated on what I call being truly open. So it's taking a look at these open standards. It's really trying to build around great products and leveraging the whole uh, open uh, RDK uh, community. And again, that brings a platform that an OEM can deliver it brings a platform that an operator can differentiate and it allows a very rapid time to market. Right, so how is this strategy different from other silicon providers? So we have this uh, phrase where we say that standard is better than better. So again, we're looking at the open standards, try to differentiate where really we can add value and allow that ecosystem to thrive and to move as fast as possible to make innovative products. Roger, how are you engaged in the global RDK movement? From Entropic's perspective, why are global operators signing up for RDK right now? Come back to that notion of what the RDK is, this collection, this distribution. Uh, we've been working with the tier one operators to show how they can pull together these open interfaces and how they can augment their own um, creativity, their own uh, use cases, and whether it is based in North American standards or whether it's trying to add a feature for a different region, or whether it's actually trying to augment a new technology within the RDK ecosystem, we've been giving them a framework to do that. At the show, we kind of announced how um, a ecosystem partner called Update Logic, um, they took our basic uh, SDK platform that <clears throat> and allowed them to develop on a virtual set-top box environment, and then it took about a week or so for us to port that virtual set-top box environment into they're um, imported onto the real hardware. So this is an example of where you can get an idea that's associated with the industry, how to update um, large a number of products that are out in the field, and how you can tailor that RDK implementation to actually allow new functionality, new features um, for different regions or different operators. Okay, what other market needs or industry trends are needed to drive RDK further? So when, not, when Tropic was looking at the overall trend and the direction of, uh, of RDK, we quickly realized there was a couple of supporting technologies around. Um, there's this phrase we call open embedded, which allows you to get these, um, the, a, a PC or develop a virtual, a virtual architecture and allow rapid development of technology. And it allows the OEMs or the um, operators to really develop independent of the basic hardware. So then as Entropic develops a new solution, whether it's an AVC platform, whether it's a HEVC platform, or whether it's a UHD platform, we can take that RDK development and move it across depending on the operator's, um, on the operator's needs. And fundamentally, that's a momentum you're going to see happen more and more, faster and faster, as RDK proliferates around the country. Thanks for joining us today, Roger. It was great to see you. It's been a pleasure to talk to you as well. Thank you. Thank you.